everyone, I'm Heather and welcome back. This is going to be a lip swatching video and that only means one thing and one thing only. My makeup consultant will be here with us. And it seems like we have a lot of stuff to review today, <laughs> my gosh. <laughs> only nine lipsticks, only nine. I do have, let's see, seven more, but we can wait for another video for that one. But anywho, for those of you that are new to my channel, my makeup consultant is my husband, Chokit. And my makeup consultant, he's behind the camera and whenever I uh, swatch a lipstick, he lets me know which shade he likes better. And he's getting good at it too. He's starting to know the different tones and different shades. And the colors. And the colors. <laughs> <laughs> and I am really excited this time because if you watch my life update video over Christmas, my makeup consultant showed it. He was sick in the hospital. He first had pneumonia and then he got COVID. And it was, it was a scary, scary time. So I am really glad that he is here with us. Yes, I'm glad too. I am too. And after this, I am sure I'm going to get him in the front of the camera so y'all can meet him. <laughs> Do I have to? <laughs> yes, you have to. All right, now the lipsticks that I'm going to swatch, they are all by Chanel. And I really fell in love with them. So I bought more. I bought four shades from the Rouge Allure Velvet collection, and it's the new collection. I want to say it right. The Le Leon de Chanel lipsticks. These cost $42, and I believe these are limited edition. So it has a distinctive mark of the lion on its case. And let me go ahead and show that to you. Here is the distinctive mark of Leo the lion. I hope y'all can see that there. So again, I picked up four shades, and the five shades, those are the liquid lipsticks. And I'll talk about those when we get to those. Let's go ahead and start with the matte lipsticks. And these are of a velvet matte. And then they're not drying at all. And how you open it up, you push this in and out it pops. Now this shade is shade number 237, which is Beige Ardent. So here's what Beige Ardent looks like. What do you think about this? It actually this? looks nice in your face. It yeah. matches good with the cover and the tone and everything. I always laugh when he says it looks nice on your face. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I guess, how he says it, but I just yeah. think it's cute. It's funny, yeah. but cute. <laughs> well, it really looks nice. You like this one? Yeah, yeah this like is a, a nice brownish nude. Yeah. yeah, I think for just, you know, everyday thing. There you go. He's yes. getting good. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, I like this one. It does have a little bit of a, of a reddish brown to it. I like it. I like it too. And you know what? Let me zoom you in a little closer so you can see a lot better. I guess I'm just so excited that you're here that I just lost my concentration. <laughs> Do you want me to leave? No. <laughs> I want you to stay. Okay, is that better? You can see now beige ardent on my lips. And what I like about these lipsticks is that they're very creamy. Even though it's a matte formula, it is very creamy. Okay, next we have shade 227, which is beige. Oh gosh, I have no idea how to pronounce this. Rogueson? Sounds French. Yeah, I'll, <laughs> I'll write it down here for you guys. Yeah, I don't know French very well. It's a beautiful language and I wish I spoke it, but I don't know French very well. Oh, this is a, another light beige. And there is shade 227. Okay, what do you think of this one? This one is nice too. I like it too. You like this one? Yeah. But it's a little bit lighter than the first one, but yeah. it is nice. This is another nice nude. Yeah. This one is a little bit more on the pinkish side. And this is 227. And after I finish swatching them on my lips, I will swatch them on my hand for you guys. Next we have 277, which is Rouge Fauve. Ooh, this one's a little bit deeper. Yeah. That looks nice. Mm -hmm. Here is 277. These are good colors. I like this too. Mm -hmm. This one's a nice one. I yeah, like it. Yeah, I like this one. So what do you think this color looks like? Oh, uh, you know, I don't know, deep red. <laughs> <laughs> he's getting good, I promise, I promise. He's still got a ways to go, but he's getting a lot better. <laughs> what a consultant, huh? <laughs> no, I love my consultant. Fun. It's, yeah. it's really, it's really it's fun. all about fun. It's yeah. all about having fun and laughing together yeah. and playing with makeup, at least for me. And yes, I, I get to have him here. Know, I'm having fun. Oh yeah, I think he, I think he really does like it. The first time he was a little embarrassed, but I think now you really you really having fun. Yeah, you really like it. Yeah, I would say this is more of like a brick red. Mm -hmm. And the last one that I have is fifty eight, which is Rouge V or Rouge V. I think it's Rouge V. So it's a bit similar to the previous one. Maybe, Maybe a little bit darker. 
Probably. Well, let's watch it and see. Yeah, that's nice. And really, I don't have any favorite because all the four covers look very beautiful. I think it's a little bit brighter than the last one. Think so? Yes. It looks nice. Yeah, I really do love the formula because it's not yeah. very heavy on my lips. Now, these five lipsticks, these are new for me and they are the La Rouge Duo Ultra Tenue. I believe that's how you pronounce it, but these are the liquid lipsticks. Four of these are the old shades, and I did pick one new shade in the 2021 collection, spring collection. I'm not really fond of liquid lipsticks because they are a little drying, but what's special about these is that it comes with the liquid lipsticks, and it also comes with a lip gloss that you put on top of it, and it's supposed to kind of not make your lips so dry. So I wanted to try these, so I picked up five of these, and these are cost, the, these cost $40 each. And I've seen other YouTubers swatch these and from what I could tell whenever they take it off it takes a long time to take off mm -hmm. because these liquid lipsticks they stay on your lips especially after you put the lip gloss on from what I see which is a good thing right yes yeah. let's try the first one it's in the shade tinder beige which is number 69 here is the little applicator and this is the amount of product you get which is mm -hmm. this little thing right here These are very creamy, very smooth on my lips. Yeah, it's a very solid color. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have to say that I can see my lip color coming through, but let me add another layer. Oh, you know what? I'm starting to feel it a little drying and a little sticky. Okay, and it does say that let it dry a little bit and then add the gloss. And here's the gloss applicator. All right, let me add the gloss. Yeah, what is the gloss? It looks actually better. It added something to it. Okay, and it does feel a little bit uh, not as drying and tight on my lips with the gloss. Now, I don't know how long these will last because this is the first time I've tried these uh, liquid lipsticks. And I have to say that with the gloss, it does transfer from the lipstick to the applicator. I don't know if I needed to let the lipstick dry a little bit longer, but we will keep trying. Again, this is the shade 69 Tinder Beige. Okay, let's see how hard this is to take off. <laughs> Nothing came up. <laughs> <laughs> Just the gloss part. There's still some color to my lips. Next we have 112, which is Chic Rosewood. Mm. Here's just the lipstick. It's a very similar to the last one. You, you think, think so? so? It's a little bit on the rosy side more, I guess. Mm. Right, I did let the lipstick dry a little bit before I added the gloss, and it doesn't transfer as much that way. So I think we need to do that. But this is shade 112 Chic Rosewood. I like it with the gloss. Yeah. All right, the next one is shade 182 Light Brown, and this is one of the new shades for the spring collection. And here is Light Brown. It doesn't look light, though. Would see me your face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> While I was putting light brown on, he got a call and he had to take it. So let me let this dry a little bit, add the lip gloss, and then hopefully he'll be back by then. <laughs> okay, he finally came back after 10, 15 minutes. But Sorry about that. <laughs> I know it's important for you, so it's, it's all good. Actually, after I put the lip gloss on, it gave me enough time to get a feel of how this lipstick feels on my lips. And in those 10, 15 minutes, it wasn't drying. I do feel the lip gloss, and it's not sticky, and it's not settling in my lines. You know, I, I like this color. And it's, you like this color. It's beautiful. I think it's a very yeah. nice color. But I like the shade. Yes, I like it too. It has a kind of like a 90s Friends vibe to it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I put the right zoom in after you came in. Right now I'm a little bit closer and you can probably see this a little <laughs> bit better. You distract me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can leave. No, no, don't leave. Don't leave. But this is 182 Light Brown. Yeah, it still feels very nice on my lips. It's not as dry? Mm-mm. Okay. So you have to have the lip gloss on. You have to put it on. Because if you don't put the lip gloss on, it is drying on my lips. It does accentuate the lines, kind of sinks in the line. And when you put your lips together and take them apart, the color just kind of comes off your lips. That's probably why you put the gloss and the lipstick yeah. in the same. <laughs> Very smart, very smart. Package. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're adding some color here. This is shade 102, Milky Blueberry. And the blueberry is very bright description. Yeah. It looks like a blueberry? Yeah, very nice. Also makes my teeth whiter because of the blue in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And this is what it looks like before you put the gloss on. When you put your lips together, hmm. kind of sticky. Yeah, and I can see some wrinkles in your lips too. Yeah. If you let it dry, there's no transfer 
on the applicator mm -hmm. for the gloss. And it's not sticky now? No, it's not sticky. It's very smooth, very glide and slippery. This is 102 Milky Blueberry. I know I need a haircut soon. My hair is just having a mind of its own lately. And I need to get it colored. Look at that. <laughs> Look at all the gray coming. <laughs> It's still there. <laughs> it's still there. Okay, we have one left, one left. And this one's 122 Soft Coral. A little bit on the pink sign. Orange? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he still needs a little help between the pink and the orange shades. <laughs> oh, that's orange. <laughs> Even without the gloss, it looks nice. Yeah, but you kind of need to have the gloss mm -hmm. for it to be comfortable on your lips. It did transfer a little bit on the applicator there. I guess I didn't wait enough for it to dry. But this is 122 Soft Coral. But yeah, I do like it with the gloss. It adds some shine to it and adds a little comfort to it. All right, let me swatch them on my hand for you. Let me swatch the lipsticks first. The Le Lyon de Chanel lipsticks. Alrighty here, so we have 237 Beige Ardent, 227 Beige Roguissant, 277 Beige Fauve, and then 58 Rouge V. So here are the matte lipsticks. Out of these four, which one did you like? As I said in the beginning, it's just I like these four colors. Yeah, they're different. You know, I like the, them. The first two colors maybe during the day, you know, everyday look. These two. And then the second two colors maybe in the evening time or going to dinner somewhere. Okay. But I like the four colors. Okay. They look very nice in your lips. All right. And here are the liquid lipsticks. 69 Tender Beige, 112 Chic Rosewood, 182 Light Brown, 102 Milky Blueberry, and 122 Soft Coral. All right, now which one did you like out of these? Yeah, the, the first one I think it was a little bit pale in your face, Sorry. in your lips. Sorry. <laughs> no, I like uh, when you say on your face. Yes. All of the other colors are nice, you know, they are different looks. I like the Blueberry. You like the color. blueberry? Yeah. yeah. That's probably my favorite, but okay. all, all of them are, are nice. All right, now let me get my makeup consultant to come in front of the camera. Let me zoom out. Do I have to come in front of the camera? Yes, you do. <laughs> I am I'm okay Everybody behind wants the to camera. Me. No, no. Come on, here <laughs> is my makeup well, consultant. Well, hi, everybody. Nice to meet everybody there. <laughs> I'm very happy to be with this wonderful woman here. We are so glad to have you here. I know everyone was praying for you when yes. you were in the hospital. Yes. And I'm so glad to have you here. You know what? <laughs> Let me see if this lipstick is transfer-proof. <laughs> okay, try. Oh! How about that? There's oh, nothing there. Nothing there. That's good. Oh, look so, at that. So this means that it will stay in your lips for a long time. Yeah, it should. I bet that was a good one. We tried again. <laughs> <laughs> and nothing there. Nothing there. Good. good. Maybe a little bit of sheen, but yeah, yeah, there's no color. Thank you so much for doing this with us. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, you know, it's fun. It's oh, fun. yes. And then I think next time we're going to do some more lip swatching because I have, like I said, seven lipsticks from this brand, Propa Beauty. And also, hopefully when this video goes up, it will be on our 33rd anniversary. That's true, on Monday. Yeah, 33 years with this man. Any, many more. Yes. Many, many more. And in Arabic, we always say, Inshallah, God willing. Yes. Well, all right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. And hit that subscribe button right there <laughs> so you can see more videos like this. And y'all have a wonderful, wonderful day, and we'll see you next time. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.